Hello, what's up? My name is Michelle. Today I thought it'd be nice just to have like a little chit chat, just to give you some words of comfort. And at the same time, I'm going to be taking you through a very, very light and minimal makeup routine. So for the acne coverage, I'm just going to be using BB cream. BB cream is a mix between a skincare product and a makeup product. I'm going to be using this Maybelline Dream BB cream. It has salicylic acid in it, so it makes me feel a little bit better about having it on throughout the day. This is good for days where you're staying in and you have like a Zoom meeting or something. This is what I would usually put on for my Zoom classrooms because I just didn't want to put on concealer every single day. And I also did not want to enter looking like this. It won't last you very long if you're going to be going out and stuff. It definitely will not last you under a mask and it will move around throughout the day. But it's just a very light thing to put over if you want to minimize the look of your redness. All right, so the skin is still struggling, obviously, but that's okay. So first off, I'm just going to take my concealer brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the BB cream and I'm just going to dab it on the red areas. Very lightly, don't focus on blending it out now, but you will soon. Try to find one that best matches your face. This one doesn't even match my face that well, to be honest, but... So the reason I wanted to make this video was because reading the comments, I've noticed that there are a lot of younger girls that have said, you know, looking at my acne makes me depressed. First of all, that broke my heart because I know exactly how it feels. And basically, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about it today because when I was at the peak of my breakouts, I literally could not even look at myself in the morning without makeup on. I would go to sleepovers and I would still wear makeup because I didn't want people to see what I look like. It was really bad. And basically, I just don't want anyone to go through the things that I did or feel the same way that I did during those times. And I really do mean it when I say regardless of having acne or not, that really shouldn't change how beautiful you think you are because it's honestly more than that and i know that is so corny to say when i was going through it this is not what i wanted to hear but i'm just going to share a few words with you hopefully it'll help change your mindset a little bit because back when i was struggling with acne this is sort of how i wish i looked at things i'm also going to share a couple ways that i came to terms with how my face was looking so you can layer this on as many times as you want and just blend until you're happy with how it looks so growing up i was a huge perfectionist whether that was with school school or just anything in my life in general, I just had to have everything be perfect. So when I started to really break out, it was horrific for me. <laughs> looking at myself was extremely overwhelming. And I would pick my face apart in the mirror. Even if my face was getting sort of better, I would still look for new problems. And we all know why that's a problem, but in the midst of it, you don't really realize that. So please be easy on yourself if you're going through this. I can guarantee you that out of all the people in your life, you probably judge yourself the worst. So when I started to realize what I was doing to myself, I tried to find a way to combat that. And one of the ways that I did that was by selective concealing. So every day when I would do my makeup, I would leave out a pimple or an area that was pretty irritated and red and imperfect. Like today, I'm gonna leave out this pimple and then this little red area right here. And each day I would pick a new area or I would make the area a little bit bigger just so I could familiarize myself with the fact that I had acne and my face was not perfect. <laughs> it takes time and honestly, at first it can be really uncomfortable, but slowly I got better at being able to accept my face. But you know, like some days are better than others and some days I can't really look at myself and other days I'm fine, but that's like everything, you know? Some days you're feeling it, some days you're not. So if you're anything like me, please get rid of this idea of perfection. It's never gonna happen. You're gonna keep on looking for things that are wrong and things will go wrong on your face and that's fine. Like it happens all the time to people. Another thing that also helped me was changing the way I viewed what acne was. Okay, so I think I'm good with the BB cream. I'm gonna show you what it looks like up close. So as you can see, it's not like perfectly covered and the color is a little bit whiter than my face. It takes away some of the redness. If you get the right shade, this won't be that big of a problem. And the reason why I like having BB cream is that it really does not cover that much. It's very light, so you can still see the acne scars under it, which I know is not what you want. But when it comes to my experience, the only way that I really helped myself get over the look of my face was to slowly reintroduce the acne back. Right, so now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. 
I'm going to tell you a story and hopefully you can find some comfort or solace in it. Back when I was in high school, and this is like peak time where you really, really do care about what other people think of you. I had three huge mosquito bites on my head. Massive. Like, I think there's one here, one here, one here. They're super red and super irritated, super honking big, like, and I just showed up to school one day with them and I didn't care. They were like glowing red and people would see it and I'd be like, it's a mosquito bite. And sometimes I'd even joke about it with people. I'd be like, ah, isn't it funny that I got this huge giant mosquito bite on my head? Fast forward a couple months. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows, but I had this pimple on my cheek. Kind of, I would say like, sort of like this. And this pimple was nowhere near as big as those mosquito bites that I had. But for some reason, I went to school with my hair like this for like a whole week. <laughs> I think about that time. It really didn't matter what it looked like. Just the fact of it being a pimple made it like a thousand times worse than a mosquito bite. And I think about why this is happening. So now I'm just gonna put some powder on my face, but and I think the reason that this is happening is because there is an industry that makes billions of dollars off of villainizing acne. When in reality, what is acne? It's a wound, just like any other scrape or scratch that you get. It's an infected pore, basically, which, yeah, it's a little bit different than a scratch, but the concept is still the same. It's a wound on your face and it gets irritated, so it turns red. But because companies can make money and so much money off of you being insecure about something that is so out of your control. You get a scratch on your face, that's not your fault. I got a scratch on my face, that's not my fault. Acne is also nobody's fault. So I think that changing the way that you think about acne and what it actually is, is very key in feeling a lot better about having it on your face. <laughs> Cause when I think about it, if I get a scratch on my face, for example, and I have before, I leave it. When people see it, I'm not like, oh my God, like you're seeing my scratch on my face. I leave it most of the time and I'm like, Kind of looks badass, right? And this scar, for all I know, could be a lot bigger than any pimple on my face and it could look worse. It could be a lot more visible and irritated. But for some reason, I would be more embarrassed if somebody saw a singular pimple on my face than a big ass scratch on my cheek. And I think that's a big problem. <laughs> I think a lot of young girls and boys have grown up to believe that acne is disgusting, it's dirty, you're gross because you have it, when in reality, it's just a wound. When I had really bad acne and people were like, it's fine, you look fine. I didn't want to listen to them because I knew it wasn't fine. And in my mind, they were just saying that to say that. But honestly, I really just want to encourage you to look at acne in a different way. Having a pimple on your face is not more disgusting, revolting, and gross than any other wound, scar, scratch that you could get on your face from any other scenario. I know it can be hard to hear, especially if you're going through it right now, but trust me, changing your perspective is the first step in accepting the fact that you are not any less than because you have acne on your face. It's ridiculous, it really is. I'm done with the makeup part, so I'm just gonna keep talking, but it's just something that I thought about recently, and I wish I understood that more when I was younger and struggling with pimples. And I know having a scratch or a mosquito bite is not the same thing as having a cluster of pimples, I get that. But I just want you to consider looking at it in a different way, because a lot of the shame that we get from pimples is because the beauty industry stigmatizes it. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want. If not, that's okay too. Please, please listen to what I'm saying. But anyways, that's all I have. Hope you have a great day and I will see you next time.